Hey guys, RC here. We're back with Keeper RL. So I've been playing this on the side for a little while and uh, finally kind of got the hang of it. <laughs> but uh, I figured we'd give it a shot. So I don't have any mods installed. This is the plain vanilla game. Uh, it's very inexpensive. I forget how much it costs, 10 bucks or something like that. But you can play as a, a evil wizard, an evil knight, or a less evil knight. Um, this is an alpha release game, so it's kind of like Dwarf Fortress that it's constantly evolving. Uh, we're gonna, I've played with the mage, uh, or the wizard. I'm gonna go with the knight, and we are going to, we're in campaign mode. Um, and let's see, what do we have here? We have an unremarkable dungeon we have a black dragon thieves these are main villains we have dark elves that are allies tree spirits that are lesser villains a cyclops dryads and knights and then we have an unknown ally out here um i'm gonna re-roll the map all right we have a unicorn herd Lizard Men, main villain. Dwarves, main villain. Giant Spiders, Warriors, nah. Cyclops, Dark Elves, Thieves. Tree Spirits, Unicorns. A Green Skin Village. A Demon Den, ooh. A Red Dragon and an Unremarkable Dungeon. Let's go ahead and uh, do that one. Uh, yes, I want to continue. So what that option there gives you is it gives you the chance to go into the workshop and download any other um, dungeons that other people like you or me have uploaded there. Um, and you can see here, Steam Workshop integration for sharing mods and retired dungeons. And I will try to explain what I'm doing. And look, if, if you've ever watched me play, if you've watched any of the games on my channel, you may notice, and somebody commented about this recently, that they liked the way I did it, which I appreciate, but that I tried to teach. And that's a couple of reasons. One, I'm in sales, and I actually did teach for a couple of years. So that's kind of how I do play. I try to teach uh, in my Let's Plays. So I know that's not for everybody, but it's how I play. So be it. Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, I am going to pull one of my peasants. And we want to just kind of walk along here and find out what we're dealing with. Out in this area. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for kind of, ooh, don't want to go there just yet. Looking for kind of a little alcove. All right, we'll go up this way. All right, um... It usually starts you off in a good area, so or you know, at least a semi-decent area. Uh, if we scroll out, uh, let's exit control mode. We still have the game paused. Um, I'm just trying to see where we've got access. We've got quite a bit of stuff out here. We have a question mark there, question mark here. All right, so there's three question marks there. Two more question marks here. Quite a few more down there. The question marks are small groups of uh, baddies that you'll need to deal with at some point, and that's how you gain experience, and that allows you to train in additional things. So let's zoom in. So we have, uh, because we are a human, 
a knight, an evil knight. Uh, I have a fighting ability of 28, and you can see my current weaponry. And my peasants don't have anything, although they do have fighting ability. So what we want to do here is we want to start by digging. And I'm going to use the shift button. Now, you don't want to dig into the wall like there. You want to come out. And we're just going to kind of clear out. Let's go ahead and clear everything there, everything out there. And all of that. Then what we're going to do is we want to come back up near our entrance and we want to set a storage area for resources. Now you can individually click. You can click and drag in a row. But if you want to do a box, use the shift. And if you want to delete something, use the control and mouse over what you already have. All right, so we're going to unpause and I'm going to hit the number two button to speed up. And one through four is speed. So we'll go full, full blown four. And I want to start digging now. So structure D, no, structure D. Let's go in right here and we'll shift and we'll come in. And then I'll come back on itself. And then we're going to dig out that room right there. All right. So we're still very fast. They're going to be working on the trees. Now, I wonder... All right, so that's how you can control. No, nope, I guess not. Now, you'll notice down here, we've got a lot going on. We have our resource meter. Right now, we don't have anything. It does not register until it goes into your storage pile. So we have all this wood, but none shows up till they pick it up. And we'll get to that. Um, right there. All right. The other thing is we have level one. If we click on that, this is, we've already researched iron working. And then these are the other things that we can research and are experience points for lack of a better term. Then you have your population. So we have one person, me, the peasants don't count. And we have a max of 10 and we can build on that. You can end up with, uh, I don't know how many I've read somewhere over a hundred, but you don't want to go too fast. Slow and steady is important in this game. Now, the other thing is this is a permadeath game. You can save, but when you die, the game's over. There is no re 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 you know, reloading from that point or anything else. Uh, then we have, uh, I don't know what, the, that's your, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's our turn. So this is 411 turns and this is your day night cycle so there's 1089 ticks left in the daytime and then you'll have a nighttime and you'll have a counter there and that'll be important because if you come outside at night there's things like ghosts and things of that nature now i want to bring in these orcs but you'll notice when i mouse over them and we'll pause it again you see where it says turns left that's how many turns I have left before they disappear. And when they disappear, they'll fall off the little grid here. Um, but it tells me it requires one wooden training dummy and one basic bed. Now, I can also hire another a, a goblin, but I need a forge, a workshop, a jeweler, or and a bed. One of the three workshops and a bed. All right. I want to put a wooden door. And I'm going to put three of those in there. Now, we had a tribe of humans that were destroyed. I don't know who did that. 
So let's scroll out and see if I can see anywhere in our zone. And I do not, but we got experience for something. So we've already made it to level two. Somehow the humans were destroyed. Um, I want to start going with... Now, pig breeding will feed your minions, and it gives you a plus four, I believe, to your population cap. Warhammers, battle axes. All right. Um, let's go sorcery first. Now, you automatically learn it. So that's good. All right, so they're gathering all this wood, and now you can see we have 561 wood. I'm wondering, I want to just, let me, I want to click on her. Mm. All right. Uh, I'm doing this for a reason. We're going to build some traps in here. Now, I, I want to get the goblins. The goblins are the ones you want working your workshop. There's a healer. But you want to kind of think about your layout. Now, I, this is literally my third dungeon. The first one I died on my fifth day. And my last one, I was doing pretty well. Um, I was actually to, to point... I could kill dwarves, I uh, was killing some dwarves, right? All right, let's build another door here. And let's build a couple of torches just inside the room. All right, they're starting to build now, good. There they go. Actually, um, yeah. And you can see now we have some iron. Okay. I put that torch in the wrong place. And you know what? I want this a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to want to come out. And then we're going to want to dig out that room there. And that room there. Awesome. Okay, so we're done here. I want to add some more torches in the back. Let's put one in the corner. And I'm going to go ahead and start that one. And what I want to put in here is our training room. So I want to put a wooden dummy right there. Now, I want to get him quickly. But I want to get these orcs. And you can see that from the bottom, he has 14 turns left, then 188, then 241. All right, so I need to build... I'm going to just build some basic beds right here for right now. And we'll get that built. <clears throat> All right. All right, now we have a couple of beds and a dummy. So let's go ahead and grab him. And so you need one training dummy for each person and I'm gonna go ahead and build my bookcase right here for right now and then with the bookcase we can get our healer in there all right so we've got that going on.
Now, what's going on here, RC? Well, he is training, all right? And as he trains, he will gain experience points and he will build up his level. So if we click here, we have two orcs, one orc healer, and you can see they have attack skills of 21, which is 16 plus five, which is their base damage with a fist. Now we can give them weapons at some point, which will make them better. We can give them armor, which will make them better. All right. I'm going to build another door here. And it is nighttime. And you can see up here, hold on, I need to turn that down a little bit. Change options, uh, sound effects volume. Let's do that. And the music volume, I've already got it 15%. Let me know if that's too loud in the comments. All right. So they're digging out this. Now this is gold. Now gold, you can use gold to build things like a demon shrine, a throne, or statues. And a gold statue increases your population count by one. So you want to add those in. Now, in this room, I am going to want to build a workshop right there. And I am going to want to build a forge right there. And we're going to put a wooden door there. All right, now we've got a forge and that built. Now, I don't know what insane does, but notice I have this goblin. Then I have this goblin. Now he has legendary skill, so I'm going to hire him. Now I don't know what that insane does. He could go insane and we may have to kill him, but I'm going to bring in both. Now they both count towards our cap. And I want to I'm going to bring in this other healer. Healers are important. Uh, I need one more bookcase. All right, so we're going to change that. Now, oh, hello, what happened? Oh, wait a minute. A goblin is killed by a goblin. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's what the insane does. Maybe he wants to be the only goblin. Now, which goblin is this? He is the insane one. Now, is he going to attack anybody else? Yes. Okay, so you don't want insane people. That would be a, a hint. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring that goblin in. Let him get started. So he should wander in here at some point. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we haven't posted anything to be built yet. Okay. So we have 370 iron. Now you have to kind of be... We've got a lot of wood and you can make leather items out of wood. So I'm going to build one Full, two full sets of that. And then I'm going to build a sword. All right, that's 20, 60. I should be able to build a full set of that. So now that he has something to do, he'll come in and pick that up. All right. Um, I want to build... I'm going to build my bookcases there. And I want to build a treasure chest right there. 
All right, now with the treasure chest built, they will now pick up the gold and then that will accumulate. And this I want to, can I delete that? Let's see, library, wooden bookcase. I can't destroy that. All right, I don't know. I should be able to just, oh, wait, hold on. Order, remove construction. There you go. All right, so that's going to move all of our library stuff down here. We have 412 uh, gold. So let's put down a, let's put down a golden statue two of them in there and you see we just went up to 12 all right I'm gonna bring in one more goblin so we have two and we already have two healers right no oh one of my healers got killed so I'm gonna bring in another healer now how do we equip people well, we're starting to make stuff, so I need to do one other thing first. So we're going to dig out. I'm going to come out this way. And we're going to do that. Well, oh, I may not, it doesn't look like I can dig there. So there's going to be something there, and I'm not sure I like that. Yeah, well, we'll see what it is. Uh, there's a mage. I do want him. I need one more basic bed. So living. And I'm going to move all these beds at some point. We're going to go ahead and build a door here. And while we're here, I want to remove that door. And then I want to build an iron door. All right. So let's unpause. So there is water in here. Now, things could get in from there. Not sure I like that, but it is what it is. So we're going to put some storage, and we are going to set this for equipment. So watch what happens. The sword that's laying here, they will pick all that up and move it over here. And let's go ahead and put some, uh, some torches in that room. All right, we've got two more healers. I've already got two, so I want the mage. And if you don't want them like that guy's insane, you right-click and they'll disappear. But I already have two healers, so I don't want another one. All right, and you can see all of the stuff that was in the queue is gone. And you can see this green bar filling in. That's the percentage that they're done on that item. So what I want to do is I want to go to one of my orcs. And I want to give him, I'm going to drop that club. Well, actually, I'm not going to. Uh, I want to give him that sword. And I want to give him the iron helm. I want to give him the, I'm going to give him, well, no, I'm going to keep that because I am a fighter. Leather armor, leather armor. All right. A lot of times they'll pick stuff up automatically, but you saw he went in. There's some boots. So let's go back to our main orc. All right. And there, you see how these are brown and these ha are, have kind of a silver overlay? That's iron. So we're going to give him that. 
And I want another full set of iron. And then I want another full set. No club this time, because then I want two more swords. All right, I don't need the goblins. I don't want to take up people. All right, let's see our orc here. So there's a shield. And there's some plus two armor. So he'll wander over here and pick that up. Now, how's our other orc looking? All right, well, we'll give him. He's unhappy. I don't know why. Oh, well, you know what? There is something we can do. All right, let's go back. We have 700 wood left. Let's build some floors. So we're going to just shift click that room. That room. And we'll do this room there. Now you can buy in more peons at some point. Oh, and who's triggered? Okay, so we have bandits that have now been triggered by the amount of gold that we have. So that's a problem. But uh, let's go ahead and put an eyeball outside. I'm going to put one eyeball here and one eyeball here. And I believe eyeballs make the area around it visible. Now, I don't know because I already can see this area if that helps us or if we want to put it out here. But I think what that does is it tells us what is kind of out there. All right, so we've got all the digging done. I'm going to let them work on the floors. The floors will make morale better, plus they train faster and work faster. So they'll knock this out. What is she doing? Oh, she's building floors. Not a problem. Um, all right, vulnerable. Okay, he has smelly breath, so I don't want him. I'm going to go ahead and bring in another orc. I need one more training dummy. Fair enough. So we go to training. Wooden dummy. There you go. And as soon as that's built, I will bring him into the fold. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do another set of iron and we built that door right yes okay we have bandits attacking so we've got looks like three bandits and he has an attack ability of 22 23 so what we're gonna let's take a look at what we can do all right i have Two guy, uh, three orcs, two orc healers, and an orc mage, and myself. All right, now I have sword, helm, gloves, and armor. He's fully equipped. They're not. But you know what? I'm going to say no. Now, while we're paused, we have teams here. So I'm going to put my keeper, my three orcs, my two orc healers, and my orc mage in that team. And then I'm going to click on that, and you can see the attack ability. So I'm going to control my keeper. And I'm going to ask to capture these guys. Order capture. All right, we captured that one. And you'll see why we captured them here in a second. 
Did we see the other band? Oh, there he is right there. Let's capture him too. Now you see how I'm backing up? I'm the one that is in control, but everybody else will automatically move when I do. All right, so we captured him. I don't want to go down here because there might be dwarfs, and dwarfs would just annihilate us. Now, the risk of putting my keeper in here is when your keeper dies, the game's over. So that's a problem. All right, so we want to do this. Watch what we're going to do. We're going to exit control mode. Right, and then you notice we have these, we have a bandit with the number two, and they are prisoners. So we are going to bring both of them in, and now we have two bandit slaves. Now, these doors that they broke down are already set to be rebuilt, and I want to, we're going to dig this out here. right there up to there and then I want to dig that up to there looks like there might be water right here too so there may be some water right there but we'll get that dug out and then we'll make one of these probably this a prison room and then we want to make uh, one of these like a barracks. So we'll get that going on. And so that's the first episode, guys. Hit the like if you want to see more of this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is going to be a secondary save, so I will not have like daily or every other day. This is something that I'll play for fun, and I'll upload stuff when I can. Uh, real quick. Okay, so that is our bandit now. And then we have this bandit out here. Okay, so that's they were captured, and now I have brought them in, and you can see they're in white circles. Those are our slaves now. So that's going on. All right, well, we'll come back for next episode. We'll continue from this place. And what, the, uh, and real quick, what these slaves do is they now join our peasants and they'll do the manual labor around the, around the dungeon. Uh, they will also fight, uh, but we don't want to equip them uh, because they've been captured. And so we're going to build up our, our little group here. Uh, we have nine out of 12. And uh, so we are going to, now they're triggered still, so we could get raided again. We can also go out and find them. And, uh, the hell? okay, I'm sorry, there was something under my chair. I was trying to figure out what it was. Um, but we could go out and find their base. So we may do that next episode, browse around a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to take one of my peasants and um, I'm going to put them in a, no, I can't put them in a new team. Um, well, dang it. All right, well. I want to go out and do some scouting like down that channel out here, but you know, I don't want to send my entire force because they'll get wiped out. So there are some creatures, I think like ravens and whatnot. Uh, in fact, can I living? No. Oh, beast cage. Yes. I'm going to put a couple of beast cages in here just to because then we can get beasts that come in. Um, I would not mind another orc, but I need another. Well, 
I'm continuing to play, aren't I? Guys, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.